and we are back with our final part of our epic WrestleMania discussion. We were just talking about the World's Heavyweight title match. Daniel Bryan, who is the defending World's Heavyweight Champion, going one-on-one -on -one with the Great White, the Celtic Warrior, the number one contender. Is that enough nicknames for you? Yeah, I think so. Sheamus. Yes, yeah, so uh, guys, what are your like, thoughts? Oh. I'm like, wait, I was expecting you to continue this is, talking. This, this video is just completely broken down. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting you to like continue talking, and then you just stopped. And I'm like, wait, what? Well, so, I, I, felt, I felt like I've been talking a lot. Yeah. So uh, guys, what do you think on the current uh, the current situation between Sheamus and World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan and the little 98-pound uh, uh, stick called AJ Lee? AJ well, is not um, that bad. I'm kind of offended by the current battered woman storyline. I just don't like that. I don't know. It's like too real. You're, it's you're, not okay with me. You're not alone and in that. You on know, that topic. Like everyone knows I hate Daniel Bryan. I think he's Captain Boring, um, <laughs> who he shall be referred to from now on. Captain but Boring. I do like Sheamus. So yeah, Sheamus won the Royal Rumble, and that was awesome. They could have went five different directions, and it would have still been the same WrestleMania card with the the winner of the Royal Rumble. But I was glad it was Sheamus. Sheamus is a guy who's a WWE guy. He's got a look, you know, that when people see Sheamus, they think WWE. And he's got some longevity. He's a big dude. I expect him to be, you know, a top guy for a long time. Yeah, and he seems to be a, a stable, like, outside of the, the, company. the company. And just for me, I see Sheamus winning the championship. That's, that's the way I see this going. And I like what they've done with Sheamus. I really do like what they've done with Sheamus. Um, and the whole how his character's developed and everything, he said, you know, growing up I was bullied and the one thing that I always hated, I became, I became a bully. And now That was good. And now he's fighting against it and they're using that into the into real life and they're pairing with the Be a Star Alliance and he's going and meeting with little kids in inner city environments and, you know, trying to give them a little bit of hope that maybe they wouldn't have had. And I really like what they're doing with that. And to further what you guys said about Daniel Bryan, eh, Daniel Bryan, great technical wrestler. Unfortunately, the whole character right now, they've turned him into somebody that we just completely want to hate. Yeah. Because when Daniel Bryan was being you know, pushed around by Michael Cole and everybody else, everybody was like, oh, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan. Not saying you guys in particular, just a lot of the, yeah, the wrestling the fans. fans. Yeah. But, but they've definitely turned him into a character that we just don't want to see win. And I have a bad feeling that he might still be champion after WrestleMania. I don't, you know, like I said, I've been... Trust me, I've been like the biggest Daniel Bryan mark there's been in since he's came to the WWE, and when he was on NXT season one, and you know it just it's a shame to where he came from to where he is now in the WWE. Again, he's he in in the ring, he's such a fantastic uh, in ring performer, but the thing is, his current storyline I think is why he is. Uh, I think that's the reason why he's not, you know, getting the credibility that he should be getting because of the way that the WWE's having him portray the whole his whole vegan and well, not nobody, eating meat. Nobody and wants everything. to watch. No one's going to pay to see a match where you've got two good guys facing each other. It's yeah. boring television. So you got to turn one of them into a bad guy. And like I was just mentioning, they've turned Sheamus into such a good guy, and he's not just a good guy inside the ring. He's using that good guy that he's inside the ring, also outside the ring, yeah. that. They, they couldn't turn him back heel, so they needed a heel to go up against him. Exactly. And Orton's so over at this point. Barrett's injured, and they were thinking something else. I mean, it's kind of the situation we ended up with. Definitely, he's, uh, you know, definitely it's, you know, when you sit there and, you know, you, you see Sheamus and you see where he's come from and how well he's been being portrayed, and then you see Sheamus and how well he's being marketed by the WWE and how the little the little fans at ringside are always are cheering Sheamus and have the Sheamus sign and all the different A fellas, you know, catchphrases and everything. It just really goes to show you how well Sheamus has come since being joining into the WWE. Oh, I mean, Triple H. For sure, because I didn't like Sheamus at first, but now I've grown to love him. And with Daniel Bryan, you know, he's talking about how you wish he was like in a better spot or whatever, but dude, the guy's world heavyweight champion, and he won the money in the bank. I think, even though the storyline, you know, it is what it is, he's a bad guy, but he has, you know, he made it his statement to, like, win the championship at WrestleMania. But, hey, he won it early, and he's going to defend it. So, I mean, 
not every wrestler in the world can say that they're in a main event level match with the world heavyweight championship around their waist. Yeah, and there. I don't. I mean, I don't know because I did not have a problem with Daniel Bryan until he won Money in the Bank, and then I was just so underwhelmed by his Money in the Bank performance that I just totally yeah. Because this is this faith. is this is Crystal's thing because every Money in the Bank holder or most of them have use the microphone and use the prop of the money in the bank to propel themselves and get credibility and get like real recognition with mic skills, you know, like, uh, the Miz did it. And yeah. And I, I think I was, I mean, I was definitely comparing him to the Miz because the Miz was the first real money in the bank person that I really saw. And I mean, just Daniel Bryan's mic skills in general, just do not compare to the Miz. And I'm definitely not arguing he is a good wrestler inside the ring. So, I mean, it would be great to me if he could kind of, overcome like his problem me it's a problem and get better on the mic and be a more forceful character and like a bigger personality and then i would be behind him but you know well the whole way they turned daniel bryan heel i mean one week he's big show's best friend he picks up the briefcase these two are going back and forth the whole situation with the title happens then you know big show almost runs over aj unintentionally they turn it into he's some bad guy the crowd is not buying a single word of it i mean they're simply just for sure that was the most unbelievable storyline i think i've ever seen ever i mean have you ever seen the crowd just so i mean usually you get well, sort of a mixed reaction they were just like complete bs get like, the, hell out. the way we see aj like we've seen aj yeah. wrestle several times she's I'm really like good and she's on her own. She takes bumps all the time, and all of a sudden, this I'm chick takes girl. a bump out. out she takes a bump outside. She should have known to move out of the way, but she oh. takes one bump—a shoulder bump—hits the ground, and she's dead. Come on, breed onculus. <laughs> you know, right before we wrap up this video, I get my quick thoughts on the Sheamus Daniel Bryan. I mean, I'm a big. I've definitely enjoyed Daniel Bryan as world champion. I mean, regardless of what he does on the mic or you know storyline wise. When it comes down to it's you know in ring performance is probably outshines everything and you know Daniel Bryan has done very well since joining the WWE. I kind of would have liked to have seen him ca cash in and an out on a, in for an actual match at WrestleMania. Uh, you know where the wrestler the the competitor was fresh and not you know tired or already beat down. Sheamus, you know, very credible as uh you know winning the Royal Rumble. He's been on such a huge momentum. Over, uh, since last summer all the way to the Royal Rumble, and I think he will, in my mind, you know, I think Sheamus will pick up the title and will will see Sheamus be the World Heavyweight Champion. I think he'd be, they'd be the first Irish-born World Heavyweight Champion on top of that. that so would cool. that would be well, very cool. Be you guys have some closing thoughts? I'll throw in something and we'll uh, wrap this up. Well, all I can say is WrestleMania, for what it is, looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. I hope they get a stellar buy rate and everybody gets paid. Yep. I think it's going to be pretty good. I would have liked to see some other, you know, talent on there, but I can't really, you know, argue with it. Besides the Big Show match, not a big fan. Undertaker, Triple H, number three. Yeah. And then the GM versus GM thing. Where is Dolph Ziggler? <laughs> Dolph GM Ziggler is GM not thing. in a match so far. On a sad day. Well, <laughs> sad day. Well, he well, it's speculated that he's going to be a part of that big twelve man match uh, at WrestleMania. Oh, that would make sense. I'd like to see him do something solo, but maybe me he's too. Not ready. You're not the only one. I mean, Dolph. I would would have loved to have seen Dolph Ziggler pick up the WWE Championship at Rumble this year. These are my closing For thoughts. Sure. I mean, yeah, agreed, agreed. And I mean, uh, these are my closing thoughts. Basically, we have a four hour card. We're currently there's seven matches. I, I think we're going to get seven pretty good matches. Don't get me wrong. I might have been a little critical or maybe overpraised throughout this video. But I think we're going to get some solid matches. The six-on-six -six match, I don't want to see it as a traditional tag. I want to see it as an elimination yes. match. I think the four versus four Divas match could work out if they actually let the Divas shine. These are great athletes. It's WrestleMania. Let them shine. Give them 10, 15 minutes. Is it going to really hurt the rest of the card? No. And it's going to make eight females that have worked so hard at perfecting their craft proud of themselves and i would agree with that i think they just screw over the divas way too much hey wait a minute we don't have a, a tag team championship match this is unbelievable no tag team <laughs> no tag team championship match i can't no believe way. it I mean, epico and primo are great they are, they are great. Well, i think so the reason why it was four hours why can't we have 10 matches and i think the reason why we're not getting a tag team championship match is because right now the only team that beat 
Epico and Primo over the last couple of weeks was R Truth and Kofi, and they're scheduled to probably be wrapped up in this six on six GM versus and, and GM. I mean, they match. Could have, not even a tag team. Well, they are, but they could no, have they, they could have Tyler Rex. They could have Tyler, Tyler Rex, Rex and Kurt. Is H not ready to be WrestleMania. You guys they're, watch to me. They're more ready than Uso, the Usos. Do you guys watch that next Redemption? Hey, 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 hey! Whatever you do, let's leave the Usos out because I think the Usos are a fantastic tag team. Hey, Products Crystal, yeah, do you I guys agree. watch NXT Redemption <laughs> at all? Yeah, um, I've been watching it just for Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex. Yeah, I love that. I don't know if you saw last week's episode, because I was at the Mohegan Sun when they actually filmed last week's episode. And, uh, man. With the mops? Yeah, with the mops. And uh, he was like, uh, Regal goes, you guys could be the toilet cleaners at the Mohegan Sun. And you should have heard the building pop, man. I mean, it was great. So, uh, closing moments, please check out f and True Wrestling. And all the channels that bring the make up the Ephraim brand of wrestling and entertainment here like on YouTube.com. Like most extreme wrestling. Exactly, exactly. Also, <laughs> nice please follow us there. on Twitter at Ephraim True Wrestling. And guys, why don't you uh, plug your channels and we'll uh, call it a night. Okay, I'll plug my channel. Yeah, it's, wait till the designated time, Chronix. I didn't think I was going to get my stuff in. But <laughs> YouTube channel, Most Extreme Wrestling. We're also on Twitter at, at MXW Crystal and at MXW Chronix. Yeah. Don't forget Facebook. You got to like them on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Facebook.com slash The Most Extreme Wrestling. Yeah. And you can also follow all. I want y'all to know that he does the same gestures whether he is on camera or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, you should you should see me when I'm sitting here filming. Like, if you guys ever watch my videos closely, you'll always see that my chair is rocking back and forth. My shoulders are always moving because I do all these like. Yeah. Hand, uh, I, I don't know what it is. I just do all these hand motions when I talk. That's why it's always kind of cut off to. But whatever have you. Um. So please check out. Be sure to check out WrestleMania 28 live on pay-per-view April 1st. And Call your local cable providers. <laughs> Will you show up now? <laughs> yeah. And also please check out the official website of the effing brand of wrestling and entertainment at www.fightnationwrestling.com. I just recently installed an RSS feature so you can follow us from your favorite RSS reader. And like the hat, Super Mario. Have a good night, and we will see you back a little bit later on tonight with our WrestleMania 28 predictions. J.C. Styles. Brian Gracie. Chronix and Crystal. Have a great night, guys. Thanks That's for right watching. Now.